Someone asked a very interesting question on our website, which is called Internet Pro Club. And let me just head over to our forum and just have a look at the question. This is the question that I'm actually talking about. And the person asked, let me just click on that and open. Okay, um, this is our forum, uh, which asks, which, which is more on the how to make money online and online and online entrepreneurship. So the question goes like, okay, let me just um, take my pen right there. The question goes like, the person is asking, what is crypto? And then I want to know about crypto and online forex trading. What is it all about? That was the question. Hello and welcome. My name is Kula and I'm the co-founder of internetproclub.com. And if you're new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button so that you can actually learn more about online entrepreneurship and making money online. So to answer this question, let me just um, move my, 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 um, my, 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 okay, let me just, let me just move my, my pen to the my screen to the to a blank screen. So what I need to do is um is is basically to break down all the questions that I can basically answer this. So first of all, let us look at the question. The question said, "What is crypto?" So if I was gonna sit down with you one on one, the first question that I was gonna uh, that I was gonna answer you, the first question that I was gonna answer you is, "What?" is crypto okay okay that's the spelling for crypto what is crypto so let me take you back to the evolution of money i just want to simplify this in a way that everyone even a person who is just getting started understands okay the evolution of money was like this back in the day people used to use butter trade forgive my spellings if i'm actually if they're actually wrong okay and People are using butter trade, and then someone said, "No, let us use gold as a form of uh, as a form of payment. Let us use gold as a form of payment." And then someone said again, "Let us use paper money as form of payment." And this is the paper money that we're actually using. And right now we are in the era of using paper money. And then with the use of technology, do you think? years from now we are still going to be using paper money definitely the answer is no there is going to be some sort of replacement in terms of technology that is going to replace the paper money that we use so it is believed that uh, bitcoin could be one of uh, the initiatives to replace to work hand in hand with uh, with paper money, so Bitcoin has got features of uh, of the money that we. Use. Bitcoin was the first to come in the technology space, and after that, it's believed that more than ten thousand coins were created. So, in short, the term crypto is given to the technology of the digital currencies, okay? The digital currencies that were created in, in technology to work in hand in hand with the paper money. Because there's quite a number of, uh, of, of digital currencies that are there, Bitcoin being the first one and other cryptocurrencies that are there like uh, ETH, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, uh, Doge Coin, and and quite a number of other, quite a number of other coins that are out there. So if you are referring to the word crypto, you are referring to all the digital currencies that are on the on the market. Now the second question that I'm really gonna ask to simplify this, because this person, if you look here, this person said, "What is crypto and forex trading?" Now let us look at the word. Uh, let me just clear off my drawing there so that you can actually follow through. Let me just clear all drawings. Now let us look at the term crypto. Okay, let me just get my pen again. Uh, let us look at the term crypto. Crypto trading. 
okay now when you're talking of crypto trading remember this is a shortcut for cryptocurrency crypto trading we are referring uh let me just give you an example of uh i would say farm trading i would say farm farm produce farm produce uh trading so basically what we are saying is that we are having a sort of an exchange in terms of the goods that we have but if you're talking of the farm produce we're saying there is some sort of an exchange with farm produce now when you talk of cryptocurrency remember bitcoin is uh is one of them and there's also other currencies that we created after bitcoin so when you're talking of crypto trading we're just simply saying that you're exchanging bitcoin to maybe dogecoin or probably you're changing eth which is ethereum to bitcoin cash i would say btc cash and probably you're actually exchanging another crypto some sort of digital currency to another and when you actually do this you are doing this for profit okay you are doing this for profit so probably you'll be actually buying you actually buy low and then sell high it's a and then sell high and then make some make some profit so there are so many websites that you can actually use to do this, to have your Bitcoin and other currencies where you can actually do an exchange. It's something that you actually have to learn. If you want to check out one of the websites that actually does this, you can actually check a website that is called Derive.com. Okay, Derive.com, they've got a facility whereby you can actually do crypto trading. I'm going to add a link below this, this video. Now, again, I'm going to answer again the other question so that you can actually follow. Now let us look at um, this term that this person used, online forex trading. And then um, I'm gonna answer the question, what is, what is it? What is online forex trading? Now when it comes to online forex trading, um, I've explained what is crypto, what is crypto trading. Now I need to explain what is Forex trading. Uh, and then I'm going to explain the difference between crypto trading and Forex trading. Now, when you, you are looking at Forex trading, now we are looking at the paper money that we use. Let's say you travel to another country. You travel to another country, like myself, I'm in Zimbabwe. If you travel, let's say to, um, to China, Okay, what you need to do is to convince it to convert the currency for Zimbabwe to the Chinese currency. So when you are traveling, it simply means that you have actually participated in the forex in the forex trading market. Okay, in the forex trading market. You've actually but if you just traveled to another country, you've actually participated in the forex trading market. So again, when you are looking at forex trading in simple terms, you are looking at the idea of converting us dollar to maybe uh, gbp which is called the british pound or probably you can actually move your money from uh, gbp to what is known as jpy which is japanese yen the japanese currency so this process is called forex trading however there are people that are called forex traders who actually do this uh, on a daily basis or on a full-time basis to earn some profit. Basically, the idea that they'll be doing is to buy low and sell high. That's basically what they're doing. So all they have to do is they go on um, on what is known as a Forex broker, trading charts and make a decision. So if I can give you an example, like I'm um, in Africa. In Africa, there is a lot of people that do farming, okay? A lot of people do farming and let's say it's uh, a season for growing maize okay if it's a season for growing maize it simply means that uh, maize is going to be cheap because almost everyone uh, has got maize does that make sense now if everyone has got maize the price becomes cheap so if you're a business person you're gonna say okay this is a season for maize so let me actually buy uh, let me actually buy maize and keep a stock Okay, so once you buy maize and keep a stock, once the rain season or, 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 or the, the, the farming season is over, when almost everyone has sold their stock, you can now start selling your, 
your stroke. So basically, that is the concept again for 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 for, for forex trading. But this time around, these guys are actually dealing with currencies. Okay, I call them currencies or fiat currencies. Let me say fiat currencies. This is fiat currencies that they'll be just buying and selling. So there's so many things to consider in terms of uh, you making a decision with that. It's a topic that you actually have to learn. Again, if you want to uh, do that, you can actually visit the website that is called Deriv, uh, deriv.com. Okay, I'm just gonna add a link below this video. Now let us look at the difference between between the two, we need to look at the difference between the two of uh, cryptocurrencies and forex trading. So if you look at crypto and forex trading, uh, I want to think from, 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 from the definition, when you're looking at crypto, we are talking of exchange of digital currencies. And then when you're looking at forex trading, we're looking at uh, exchange of fiat currencies. Okay? We're looking at exchange of fiat currencies. So one of the differences, I'm not going to explain everything. This has been there for long. Okay? And this one is, um, I would say probably in its early stages. The concept of uh, crypto trading is still in its early stages. And then uh, this can be traded 24-7, okay? Uh, this uh, Forex trading, you can only do it uh, five days a week. That is Monday, five days a week. That is Monday to, uh, that is Monday to Friday. Again, uh, the volume for that can be traded, this one has got a high volume, I should say, in terms of the money that can be uh, traded per day. Uh, so it's again uh, a topic that you may have to uh, research on or learn about and uh, when you look at this a few people are actually doing this and on this one banks they participate in forex trading individuals if people like you and me can actually participate in forex trading corporates they participate in forex trading and things like that um I hope I've explained to uh, Simba and the other guys that are looking for answers to this question. Now, if you have questions for me, just come to our forum uh, or you can actually leave a comment uh, below this video. If you enjoyed this video, please ask questions and uh, subscribe to my channel. I speak about uh, online entrepreneurship and uh, and and making money online as well. So again, one last thing that I need to invite you to do is that could you please check out one of my training courses? A lot of people have been asking me about um, have been asking me about how do I get started in terms of making money online and and things like that. So the idea that I actually started is that. I created a training course. Uh, this training course can actually help you to get started with uh, with with online business. So if you want to start an online business, it's a training course that I created with beginners in mind, people that are actually wanting to start an online business. It's uh, a free 11 day course that will take you through the process of starting an online business the way I've actually done. So with that being said, thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in my other video and bye for now.